Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video of Bleach Brave Souls. Now, what I did say in the last episode that we ended up playing this is I thought we were going to be taking a slight break from the game because there wasn't a heck of a lot to actually get done. But what I didn't know about is the actual Thousand Year Blood War new boss rush that came around apparently has pieces of the story, of which also include like little pieces of the actual, it's literally called pieces, by the way. Uh, it was little like fragments and bits and just different things from the actual manga itself and it's colored panels and everything. I'm super actually interested to go and check this out. So what we are going to do today. Um, I want to use the team of Aizen, Yama and uh, Genryusai, but the actual typings don't fully align with that. But we're going to try this out. Uh, I don't personally know how hard this is going to be. But I'm just really, really curious how this is going to go. And I'm super down to try and get this done. Now you can see here, we actually can see the first bosses of each one. So it's not going to be too, too bad. I I don't know how bad boss rushes usually are. Uh, I usually kind of just cruise through them with the actual typing. So I don't know if it's difficult, particularly, to try and get this done with a different typing. But for Genryusai, we are going to use himself. We are going to get a slight buff here with this. I don't have a killer that will end up countering Genryusai. So if I have to swap up my team, I will in a second. It's just curious how this will go. I'm excited. I'm excited to see what they actually are offering here. And like, so Bonkai Chojuro happens during Thousand Year Blood War, right? So I wonder if that's going to be part of the boss rush because I did see his name there. But take one step in and never return. The sea of blood of the universe. Notify the Stern Ritter. They actually made it two separate words inside this. Interesting. The Vondenreich will now invade the Soul Society. All right. Yep, Chojuro's the first one that actually gets, like, messed up. Makes sense. I'm going to use this and back away. Because uh, he's probably going to use an ultimate here. Yeah, and my Genryusai actually died off of that. But that's okay. I'll deal. Trust me. There we go. Chojuro, now your Bonkai is that one guy's, and he's going to use it on one guy one time and die. Byakuya is actually the next pick here. You don't get to see his battle against Knot, I guess. But he gets fucked. Byakuya gets it so bad, and there's literally no reason why he should have lived past it, except for the fact that, like, he's Byakuya, you know? But we get to use the actual barrier here to avoid an ultimate with Aizen, which is super nice. So I do like to use that. And we're just going to go ahead and get through this like that. Now we do have... I have to beat it in under two minutes, I believe. So we have plenty of time to get this done. Hey there, Genria boy. Ooh. It's been a thousand years, you watch. Juha Baha. I have come to take your life. Uh, you've finally drawn it. Make it sound like you've been waiting for me to draw my sword. Why do you think I've been waiting? It's so I can crush both your flesh and blood and your sword. Bon Kai, Zan Kai no Tachi. You've seen my Bon Kai once a thousand years ago, but is it still the same? Feel for yourself whether it's still the same as a thousand years ago. You got it. I'm about to feel it with my own abilities, actually, though. Because I can burn the world apart. And there you go. There is no problems here. The fact that he still dies standing up inside this version, by the way, is super, super cool. Uh, I noticed it while I was fighting against Guild Quest before, because... That's a, that's a very hard set of quests right there. But he just kind of stays standing and barely slumps his head over. But it's enough where you get that feeling of, oh no. And it makes me very happy. But we're going to go ahead and hop into our next one here, which is going to be Aizen's, I imagine. And we shouldn't have too many difficulties with this. We do have Mugetsu, so we should be able to just answer a lot of these. Uh, we'll use... Do we have an Unahana? Because honestly, she is a little bit nicer. For, like autoing this stuff everyone's pretty much like swapped off their unahanas now though you know we'll use a mugetsu alongside us i believe in that 
But yeah, I hope that we do get a second Genryu Sai off of this, honestly. Because the actual... People were saying that this version was the... I think it was West and South or something. So there is going to be the other paths. And I imagine, like, a ranged character with, like, the skeletons as Nad would be super, super cool. But the confined Quincy King regains his pulse after 900 years. His mind after 90. His strength after 9. In the world in nine days. Let us go. This is the last nine days of the world. That's very, very untrue. But you can try your best. Oh no, Yachiru's like the biggest problem here. She's like the problem child inside this like boss rush. I'm gonna run away a little bit. Oh, she's actually not using her ultimate. Good. Good. Genuinely, I'm happy because I would have died super hard. So I think these are all healing things on the sides, honestly. Like here, let me check this. Yeah, no, that's a healing. Oh wait, this is the heart one. I should be using Aizen. Damn it. That means this is going to be the Soifon boss. My bad. Well, Aizen's actually really, really fun now that I've maxed him out a little bit better. Working on his Link slots, he's definitely made to be the kind of person where he'll kill in one attack. Which means... Let's charge. Within two minutes. Oh no. Is there going to be a cutscene after this? Am I going to be able to tap and tell a story while holding this? Let's find out! Alright. Hey there, Soifon. Yeah, I heard about this. BG9 actually gets a couple of panels inside here. Uh, I wonder... What if I do... This. Oh, I can actually hold it. Okay. I would have expected a Quincy to use a bow and arrow, but you're a little bit more sophisticated with that gun of yours. Ninth head of the Fawn family. Captain of Squad 2. The commander of the Stealth Force. What is that appearance? This appearance? Oh, that's not him. This appearance? With all the information you have on me, you're asking what this appearance is? It's Shunko. My Shunko is wind. I discovered a way to wrap my body in a vortex of spiritual pressure. And once it's been activated, I can keep on fighting while donning Shunko. I thank you. If I hadn't lost my Bankai to you, I wouldn't have been able to improve Shunko so much. God, I fucking love the idea of grabbing bullets out of the air. Mukyu. Shunko! Alright. Well, sit down. Oh my god. That just did almost her entire health bar. She got one, though. She got one in. I respect it. But, uh... Go away. There you go. And I'll use my eyes and ultimate on the last one, just to make sure I can get that off. But, there you go. I'm glad they had a couple of panels in there, but... I feel like if they're willing to use colored panels as part of their, like, actual stories inside this game, they could make some really interesting things inside the actual Thousand Year Blood War version of the arc if they wanted to do, like, a sub-story for it. So, I'm hoping, at least in the future, make a lot of sense considering the fact that they're putting so much effort into, like, these quests right here. But there is, like, a minimal amount of actual story. I imagine... See, I don't know what goes on behind the scenes of a game like this. I don't know how licensing works or how you kind of balance that in terms of your funds. But I can only imagine trying to go to Shueisha and being like, can we color like two of the panels that you have? Costs a metric fuck ton. So it's reasonable they don't do too many of them. I wonder if we'll get any inside this version of it though. Watch where you are. Watch from where you are. The side of the soul society and the living world being crushed by me. All right, Aizen, you're being taunted. Let's get through it. Bup. Dup. Bup. And back away, because instant kills definitely aren't too kind. There you go. Luckily, I can get a, like, a little burn off and be good for the most part. Oh my god, here he is! This is actually my favorite Ichigo in the entire game. And when round three comes around again, I want to get him no matter what. Because, like... Genuinely, he's one of the characters I enjoy playing as the most. And it would make a lot of sense to me if I ended up 
kind of going all in for him again. Because he's, he's one of the most fun Nad characters I actually play as. And he's one of these, like, nice hybrids I like a lot. But let's get to it. Welcome to my Soul Society. Do you want to fight me for this Soul Society? I don't see how that benefits you. It's not about benefit. Crushing those who try to control me is always the only reason I take action. That is such a strong phrase. Hado 99, Goryu, Goryu Tenmetsu. All right. Well, I have one of those. But you gotta give me a second. I have some other business to attend to. Hey there, Aizen. Let's end this. So, I also noticed they only got panels for the middle one. Um, only the one with Soifon was the one they actually got, like, an adaptation of something off. I wonder if that's because they could only afford one of them. It's kind of curious. Or, like, I guess for Genryusai you didn't need to, but having, like, the slash afterwards and having, like, that silent fall would have been really, really nice as, like, the stinger to the end of the story that they put out. But, gah. You're awake, your majesty. Hmm. Now, let's hear the report for peace. Alrighty. But that is quite fun and quite nice. And that actually does give us quite a few of those editing brushes. I need to work on a lot of my accessories right now, so I will definitely take it. I have some pretty alright builds going at the moment, but my main issue is... I feel like I'm trapped into certain kinds of builds for certain kinds of characters. Like, I have rolled 15% attack on most of these. So it, it's it's killing me, slowly but surely. And I need to get an SP build for one of these good, like, red characters. But for right now, what I do think I'm going to use that reroll on is... Honestly, I kind of want to reroll this one. I don't actually use it. And, well, actually, I'm going to reroll my Yuki, because you never know. But that'll just be the end of this episode for right now. I think that they could do a hell of a lot more with these actual stories from Thousand Year Blood War and Can't For Your Own World. But I wonder what the constraints are toward the actual, like, licenses for most of this. Oh, wow. Hell yeah! Holy shit, hell yeah! I will absolutely take that. 20% isn't as great as it could be. That means Mugetsu's probably going to be up to a little bit more power now, right? He's at 825. Now he's over uh, 100% extra. I'll take that, absolutely. I'm super happy about that. But for right now, um, I am grinding inheritance quite a bit for right now. I'm hoping to get Gun Ryusai up. I currently have him, I think, at, like it's five and three. So slowly but surely during this actual new five times inheritance stuff. And it should be quite fun. For right now, uh, I will see you guys next time when we end up getting the next set of the Kent for Your Own World quests. I'm talking about that a little bit. But for right now, take it easy. I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now. Bye, everybody.